Hello again. And um, don't you love this cool day? Wonderful. So I'd like to show you behind the scenes in my little clinic room here. This is my clinic room. Um, and behind my desk is my usually hidden beautiful kit here. And it's my live and dry blood screening uh, analysis tool that is part of the testing phase of what I do with clients. And I thought that I would um, introduce you to it so you could, uh, um, it can be revealed. Hello, Debbie, wow. Um, because, you know, us naturopaths can all be a little um, mysterious sometimes. So I'd like to introduce you to my beautiful expensive equipment here. Uh, this is the microscope and I'm gonna just uh, plug it in and everything comes to light when I do that. Uh, switch the light on and so we uh, can then see it on the computer and I'll show you that in a minute and then the client gets to see it on the TV screen um, even more magnified and so how we start is we do all the prep to get their skin ready and the slide ready and everything and then we take um, one of these little lancets and prick the, the skin and get a blood drop. And already the way the blood comes out of the blood drop tells us about the quality of the blood and what's going on. And then we place that on, uh, on some slides, which uh, just the one drop for the live blood on the slides. And that's, let me just take these off. Um, one of these little slides and pop that onto here um, as quickly as possible. Uh, also, straight away, we um, increase the size of the drop to take a sample for the dried blood. And dried blood lasts, whereas live blood doesn't. So dried blood, um, you can see there on the, um, on the slide, and I'm gonna show you one of those in a minute. And then we bring it up here onto the, um, onto the microscope and start to evaluate that on the screen. So I can't show you, unless I did mine, um, and I'm not doing that today, I can't show you a live blood sample because they have to be disposed of, um, you know, within sort of an hour of taking the blood. But I can show you a, a dried blood one and we'll do a live blood. When I've got a, uh, a volunteer, perhaps I'll show you the, um, the dried one. So let's show you. I've just placed a, on the microscope there that, and we're looking at the first drop under the microscope. And I'm going to bring that up so you can see it in... Um, in focus. So here's the TV one. Woohoo! Now um, that's on currently on the wrong magnification, that's for live blood. So I'm going to bring it over to the typical one for dried blood and also yes and re back here, re voila! So um, that's really nice, healthy blood there. Um, there are some things that we can see that indicate what's going on. How the blood spot dries has, tells you uh, a lot about the chemistry in the blood. And the Germans mainly have researched and studied this and they have um, worked out what those um, patterns mean and that comes down to what they look like, where they're located in the spot. There's six to eight spots to review, and um, you can see different things in the first blood spot to the last blood spot, and that can be interpreted. Um, none of it is diagnostic. We're not diagnosing diseases. We're not diagnosing, we're not, you know, if there's anything that's a little bit suspicious, immediately you go off for blood testing uh, confirmation. So this is just a, a, a look at your biological terrain. 
which is your the territory or the map that is your body and obviously this is a blood sample so let me show you again so you can see here some um, what we call ROS that's oxidated blood cell and you can see some paling, paler colouring here as opposed to redness over here. Um, you can see some darker here. And then as we travel around the, the spot, you'll see that, that there's some um, bigger white oxidated areas there. Uh, if you, if I'll just, I'll just point out to you that this is the ring one, ring two, ring three, ring four, and so on, and those different rings represent different things as well. Um, as with a lot of things in natural therapies, when you go to the center of something, let's just go to the next drop and go to the center. Um, the center represents the digestive system, so all the organs and attached to the digestive system uh, close by there and the, um, the you know the the impact of the digestive system um, and it, it's not that we're actually going to the digestive system we don't really know what's going on there but you can you can think about okay certain things can be interpreted as the digestive system not doing its job or the liver not doing its job or um, an unhappy lymphatic system and so on. Um, or there's, a, there's inflammation related to spinal, um, spinal, you know, out of, line, out of alignment, that kind of thing. So it tells us a lot. I'll have, get you to have another look. And we're down to the third. This is the third spot here. You can see different things. Um, different areas where there's white. White is always oxidation, inflammation. Um, and then the next drop coming up, they're getting smaller, getting less blood here. And you can see now patterns of drop of, of spots here that can relate to allergies and um, um, inflammation related to allergies and so on. Here's the last spot, the littlest one. So, so how cool is that? Yeah, um, that's the dried blood analysis. As I mentioned, the live blood analysis has to be done live and I haven't done that today um, with you. Um, if you really wanna see that, then post below and I will um, schedule it another day and show you. Uh, it is actually fascinating, so I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, if you have any questions about live blood or dried blood, that just curious, then please post them in the chat. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And um, just remember, none of it's diagnostic. We're not trying to replace the doctors here. We're just trying to, um, we're just looking at things slightly different from a health perspective rather than a disease perspective and really all we're doing is getting a sense of the biological terrain so that can be things like your acidity your inflammation your gut health your immune status your oxidative status and um, and things like that and then of course that has to be taken in the context of a you know proper questionnaire and proper questioning to find out how that's that's occurring for the person and then followed up with with further testing so um lovely chatting with you and i will catch you another time thank you debbie for coming on all the way from the us i think and uh janet also take care everyone